Hello everyone, I am here to brighten up your day with a new English lesson. You might not have the foggiest about any of these phrases that I'm going to teach you today, but together we can throw caution to the wind and weather the storm. If you don't need this lesson right now, don't worry. You can save these phrases for a rainy day and use them to break the ice next time you want to sound just like a native speaker. <laughs> First, let's talk about idioms. We have countless idioms in the English language, so once again I've broken it down by category and today we're going to be learning 20 of the most commonly used weather-related idioms. These are phrases that most native speakers will use often and without much thought, but really they're not that self-explanatory. So they take a little bit of explaining and that's what we're going to learn about today. The first idiom is to brighten up. To brighten up means to become more cheerful. Now brighten up is a separable phrasal verb which means that you can put the object in the middle of those two words, the object that's being brightened up. For example, let's brighten this room up. The second idiom is to take a shine to. To take a shine to something means to develop a liking for it. Philip has taken a shine to Yorkshire tea over Tetley tea. The third idiom is to chase rainbows. To chase rainbows means to pursue something that is impossible or very unlikely. Georgia wants to be a famous singer, but with that voice, she's chasing rainbows. The fourth idiom is to save it for a rainy day. To save something for a rainy day means to keep it aside for a time when it might be needed in the future. I won some money on the lottery, so I'm going to save it for a rainy day. The fifth idiom is right as rain. If someone is right as rain, that means they are well, fit and healthy. Yesterday I was unwell, but today I feel right as rain. The sixth idiom is to take a rain check. To take a rain check is more of an American phrase, which we're beginning to see more and more of in British English. And it means to cancel or refuse something with an intention of doing it another time. Hey, are we still going for coffee later? Oh, uh, let's take a rain check, maybe next week. The seventh idiom is to weather the storm. To weather the storm means to survive through difficulties. I had a really difficult month, but I told myself to weather the storm and everything is finally back to normal. The eighth idiom is to rain on someone's parade. To rain on someone's parade means to stop them from enjoying themselves or to ruin their plans. I don't want to rain on your parade, but you're being so loud. Please could you be quieter? The ninth idiom is to shoot the breeze. To shoot the breeze means to have an informal chat. Hey, do you want to go for a walk and shoot the breeze? The tenth idiom is to catch wind of something. To catch wind of something means to hear a rumour about it. I've caught wind that Lingoda are offering 100% refunds on their courses. Now, the 11th idiom is to throw caution to the wind. To throw caution to the wind means to take a risk. I need to just throw caution to the wind and tell him how I feel. The 12th idiom is storm on the horizon. If there is a storm on the horizon, that means that there is a problem approaching. <sighs> Francis keeps getting into trouble at school, so I think there might be a storm on the horizon. The 13th idiom is, every cloud has a silver lining. This is a phrase we use to express that there is something good that comes out of every bad or difficult situation. 
Lockdown has been really stressful for everyone, but I have had a chance to spend lots more time with my family. So I guess every cloud has a silver lining. The 14th idiom is on cloud nine. If someone is on cloud nine, then they are in a state of overwhelming happiness. I got the job. <laughs> I feel so lucky. I'm on cloud nine. The 15th idiom is to have your head in the clouds. Now, if someone has their head in the clouds, that means that they're being unrealistic or impractical. A bit of a dreamer and not very down to earth. Oh, Grace is a lovely girl, but she does have her head in the clouds. The 16th idiom is to not have the foggiest. This means that you're not sure about something. You don't have an idea or a clue about it. You might say, I don't have the foggiest or I haven't the foggiest or I haven't got the foggiest. Could you help me with directions, please? I haven't the foggiest where I am. The 17th idiom is under the weather. If you're under the weather, that means you're feeling unwell. <coughs> I'm going to stay at home today as I'm a bit under the weather. The 18th idiom is the calm before the storm. This means a moment of quiet or stability before difficult or busy times. Those moments before the shop opened were the calm before the storm. The 19th idiom is to break the ice. To break the ice means to do or say something to relieve tension or to break a silence. It was really awkward when we first met, but it didn't take long to break the ice. And finally, the 20th idiom is face like thunder. If someone has a face like thunder, it means that their face looks very unhappy or very angry. This is not very polite, so only use it in informal situations. Oh, I knew she was very annoyed with me because well, she had a face like thunder. So there we have 20 weather-based British idioms. How many of them did you know already? Weather idioms are commonly used in songs, so if you recognised any of these from music, then make sure that you share that with us in the comments. And if you think of another weather-based idiom, which is not on this list, you can share it in the comments too. And you'll get bonus points if you can tell me what it means. Now, notes for all these lessons are available to my members. If you'd like to become a member, then consider joining my club just by clicking on this link here. Otherwise, I will see you in another video. Take care.